2017 What's New. I'm Robert French. I'm an applications engineer at Go Engineer, and today we're going to take a look at the costing module. So if I activate my costing command, now in 2017 we can view sub-assemblies in our top level assembly in either a flat tree or nested tree view. Over here in my costing manager we can see now the inclusion of the sub-assembly, and this just gives us different options like override of cost and other functionality we normally associate with parts. If we go ahead and open this sheet metal part and jump into the costing for it, let's jump into our template editor and we can see here that we can now apply rules to sheet metal. Now this was a functionality added to machine parts in 2016. We've simply extended the idea to sheet metal parts. Let's jump into our cut section of operations. We can actually select several rows and copy all of them or modify all of them at the same time. This just allows for quick changing of strategies or duplication of strategies for perhaps other material groups or other conditions we might encounter. Let's jump down and look at our nesting. Now we've had nesting in 2016, but now in 2017, we can see what our last piece of raw stock might look like our total usage of it, we might end up with a certain remainder of nested parts, and now we can just kind of analyze what we're left over with, what wasn't utilized on that last sheet. All right, when it comes to uh, reports from costing, we now just have a little bit more functionality in our Excel sheets to place information where we want it. We can also enter alternate quantities up to five different lot sizes. If we have any kind of setup fixtures or other costs that need to be split over all the quantities, we can now generate that information up to five different quantity sizes uh, to provide more information to our customers or clients. All right, and then lastly, we've been using a local costing template in Service Pack 2 of 2017. We can link to mysolidworks.com and actually use local sheet metal shops costing templates to see what a part might cost us from a business right down the road. That's it for 2017 costing. Thanks for watching.